everybody. This is Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. I hope you are having a lovely afternoon, evening, or morning, depending on what time of day it is for you. For me, it's evening. It's 7.40 p.m. Central Time for me. Anyways, we're going to get started here. As the description shows, Elgato Discord plugin, the official Elgato Discord plugin. So I'm really excited about this. So for those who just got a new stream deck and they want to use it for Elgato, or if you even got the Elgato foot pedal ahead of time, or like me waiting like the masses and just ordered it this morning and waiting for it to actually come in your hot little hands, I'm excited because this is what I'm going to be using it for. But let's go ahead and install the plugin. So when you're first going into the store, you're going to notice, oh my gosh, where's the Discord plugin? I don't see it anywhere. Since it's a recently added plugin, we can come to the drop down box, go to recently added. And we're going to go ahead and install, because it says by Elgato, we're going to install the Discord plugin. Now that that's installed, we can actually close out of the store and we're going to scroll down and we're going to see the Discord. So the first thing I want to do is add my buttons that I'm going to be selecting. Deafen, push to talk, and mute. Now I will be doing this probably in the same order for the foot pedal because that, that's how I'm going to do it. Um, there's even push to mute. So if you are like me where your Discord is voice activated, you don't have to push to talk. You can just push to mute. If you didn't want to say something, you can just push it real quick and do whatever you need to. Me personally, I'm going to do push to talk because I usually forget that I'm on mute and then it's easier for me to just hit the foot pedal and talk and then stop again. And that's because I live stream. So in the meantime, I'm going to remove this because I honestly don't need this one. You're going to notice it says request access. Now my Discord is on my right screen right now, which is the screen that you all see here, but um, I primarily keep it on the left. So I'm gonna click on Request Access. You're gonna notice your Discord is gonna pop open and it's gonna ask you to authorize. Go ahead and authorize. We're gonna minimize this for now. And what we're gonna do is set up some really cool features that I happen to enjoy. So we're gonna go to Text Channel. And I'm in quite a few Discords. So we're going to go ahead and select our Discord, well, my Discord, I should say. And uh, this is my particular server. And I'm going to go ahead and select general because I like to see and chat with people in, in my general chat. I'm going to select another channel. And I'm going to go to, uh, we'll just go ahead and pop in on my media, make sure that what I post actually goes there. And I'm going to go to a text channel. And it's going to be Elgato because I usually am in there as well. So I'm going to go to their general and we're going to put this in here for demo purposes. Um, and I usually do one more, which is the community help channel because I usually help out in there too. But I'm, I'm just going to keep it on general for now. But yes, in whatever discord you're in, you can actually hop to whatever channel and I'm going to show you how to do that. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and add comms. Now, I don't join any other comms unless they say it's okay, but I usually just do my own. So we're gonna do Dead by Daylight. And I'm gonna go back to mine, and then I'm gonna select comms. Comms is going to be a private channel of mine. So the only people that have access to that is somebody in a particular private channel, and that's just for us. So that's like usually my friends, my family, myself. Um, now, the ones that you're seeing right here on the voice comms in, in my channel, outside of comms, is anything from here and the Among Us. So we'll do another one. We'll do Tribes of Midgar, which is a really fun game, by the way. So these are going to be my comms channel. I'm going to move this over here for now. La -dee -da. Alrighty. You know what? We should probably just do another channel here. Why don't we add visual by impulse? Alrighty, and you know what? I always pop into their general chat too. We'll probably pop in and say hi. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do demo purposes because you know you can see me configure the buttons, but how does it actually work, right? 
Let me make sure this is in focus. And we can go ahead and launch the source here. Okay, y'all should be able to see my stream deck, right? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get it to focus, y'all. I'm so sorry. It's a little challenging. All right. So for button functionality, I'm going to move the microphone for, for a second. We're going to pull up our Discord here. And we are going to select my media page. And you're going to notice that as I push the button, it takes me to my media page. If I select this button here, it's taking me to my personal Discord. If I select the VBI button, it takes me to VBI. And then if I select the Elgato, which we're going to say hi. You know what? Actually, there is one way I can say hi real quick here. We're going to wave. And they just made it into our video. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go back to general because this takes you back to my general text channel. Now, the reason why I came back here is so that way we can start talking about comms. Comms are pretty cool, right? So from here, if I select my personal comms, you're gonna see me pop open here. Now, let's just say I wanted to unmute myself. I can actually unmute myself and you're gonna see the little green ring around my name because I'm talking directly into my Discord. Now let's just say I'm muted, but I wanna, when I have the foot pedal, I'm gonna basically be hitting the middle button. So I'd basically be holding the middle button with my foot when the pedal comes here, and I'd be pushing to talk. You can technically do this directly with the Stream Deck as well. I'm showing you this for demo purposes that literally I'm holding down the button. The moment I let it go, it stops. If I wanted to deafen the people who were in my Discord, I could actually tune them out, but I don't do that. Alrighty. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop out of my channel. I don't think you all can see that too well, but on the stream deck, it, it shows up right here like this, like a little pink phone. I kind of think that's cute that mine is pink. I like that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop out of the comms, but if I wanted to play musical chairs with my voice comms, I could. So now we're in the dead by daylight comm. And then we're going to pop into the tribes of Midgar, which is towards the bottom. So you'll see that there as well. So I think it's pretty cool that Elgato has made this fully optimizational to where you can just literally hop into whatever channel you needed to and start messaging away um, in whatever Discord it is that you're, you know, whatever server you're in, whether it's going to be, you know, people you're an affiliate with, people you help out, people you say hi to, even in your own particular server. So I hope this helps anybody who is starting out learning how to use the Elgato Stream Deck and using the official Elgato Discord plugin. And uh, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for your time. You all have a lovely day, morning or evening, depending on what time of day it is. Thank you for tuning in.